Hi, my name is Ryan Fernando and I'm the Chief Nutritionist at Kwan Nutrition. Now there's a lot of brouhaha about this season's seasonal fruit and that's mango. There was a very famous and celebrity nutritionist who talked about mango is excellent for diabetes and on the other side a city endocrinologist went and slammed the nutritionist saying that mango should not be eaten by a diabetic person. Okay. So, we have one of the best nutrition clinics in India called Kua Nutrition and I have about 40 dietitians with me in this team. And we've gone into a little bit of research and here's our viewpoint. Number one, everybody can eat mangoes because it's extremely good, has a good amount of fiber and as you can see over here, the nutrition that's coming out of mango is pretty rock solid. It's a high calorie food. All right, because it's got good amount of sugars and ripened sugars in it. Now there was a research done and which is all the brouhaha that's happening right now, which says that mango can actually reduce blood sugar levels. Now the research was done with a group of people over a period of time and they asked them to every day eat 10 grams of mango pulp. 10 grams of mango pulp is that much. Now both you and I know you can't stop at that much, right? So for a diabetic, if they're able to control their mango in the form of three or four tablespoons to give the taste buds an orgasmic taste, then please go ahead. However, if you're like a few of my family members who can't control their tongue and can go through two mangoes easily and if you're diabetic then it's an absolutely no, no, no. There's one way a diabetic can eat mangoes is don't eat it with your meal. Number one, don't eat it with your meal because your meal has given you everything in terms of the calories, the sugar, the protein, the fats. Have a mango and limited quantity if you're a diabetic as a midday snack. My best advice to you is to contact a diabetes educator who will balance your meals through the day and get you what is known as an isocaloric diet. Then this person who is a diabetes educator can figure out which time of the day can you eat how much of mango such that its glycemic load is balanced for your entire potential. Now if you don't know what's glycemic load, then you're not a diabetic. And if you're a diabetic and you don't know what's glycemic load, learn about glycemic load because you need to know how foods load glucose into your body. So my take is diabetes has a potential to allow mango in it, provided you're meeting a top-notch nutritionist who's planning your meals through the day, you're probably inserting it during the middle of the day as a standalone snack and basically you're getting your entire carbohydrate strategy planned out. For those of you out there who don't have a problem with diabetes, you can enjoy a whole mango and a quick tip to all the athletes and all those who work out. Mango becomes a brilliant post-workout nutrient. So I would eat today post my workout one whole mango I'd actually also cheat and do one mango before my workout about one hour before it's the mango season get your load of vitamin C get your load of vitamin A get your fiber in your potty is gonna get better this mango season diabetics please contact a diabetes educator you can eat a mango but it has to be done with technical qualified diabetic advice